Good afternoon, everyone. I'm David Brown. And I'm Gavin Race. And this is Pirate News Network. Uh, in world news, we have learned that Disney Plus came out a couple days ago, and it's like the Netflix for Disney. You can watch any Disney movie anytime you want, and it's all right there at the tip of your fingertips. As well, what happened around the world was we saw on Jeopardy a really touching moment where Alex Trebek had a contestant write, gave up most of his money just to write, we love you, Alex, as he is starting his chemotherapy soon for, uh, I believe it is stage four pan pancreatic cancer. So send love to him. It's, it was really a touching moment whenever that happened. Moving on, we got what's happened recently at the school. This Monday was Veterans Day, and we had uh, Megan, Sergeant Megan Swick come in to speak, and she spoke to the kids about her time in the military, which was really insightful for the kids to hear. Uh, another news, lo uh, new news, we have the Jingle Bell Ball. It's coming up Saturday, November 23rd, and the backup date for that dance is um, December 7th, if we beat Ridgewood and when we beat Ridgewood this week. Pirate cards will be available at the beginning of December. They will begin at $10. And that will do it for school news. Now we move on to sports with Ryan and Austin. Thank you, Gavin. These past couple of weeks have been exciting for sports. In MLB, the Nationals won the World Series, defeating the Astros 6-2 in Game 7, making it four games to three. In the NFL, the Cleveland Browns defeated the Buffalo Bills 19-16 making their record three wins and six losses. The Seattle Seahawks brought down the 49ers 27-24 in an overtime thriller, giving the 49ers their first loss of the season. Moving on to college football, Ohio State buries Maryland 73-14 without their starting defensive end, Chase Young. His suspension will still be in effect when the team goes on to face Rutgers this Saturday, and he will return for Penn State. In other news, LSU takes down Alabama with a close score of 46 to 41. This weekend, Michigan will face their in-state rival, Michigan State, on Saturday at noon. Finally, Kentucky was upset by Evansville earlier this week with a score of 67 to 64. That's about it for college sports. Now let's go to Ryan with news on local sports. It's not there. The Bird's football team played and hosted Manfred at Ed Miller Stadium last Saturday for the regional quarterfinal. They won 28 to 23 and will be back in action this Saturday at the regional semifinal up in Lancaster High School. They will be playing against West Lafayette Ridgewood. The volleyball team had a terrific season also this year, losing only five sets total and having an overall season record of 26 to 1, making it all the way to the state semifinals up at Wright State for the winter sports. A new Lewisburg sport will be making an appearance: indoor track and field. The sign-ups will be available in the high school office. Finally, the Berg Sports swim and basketball practices will all be starting this week. And I am Chase. Today is Friday, November 15th. The high for today is 46 and the low is 25. The high for tomorrow is 45 and the low is 23. The high for Sunday will be 50 and the low is going to be 29. The high for Monday is 51 and the low is 32. And it's supposed to rain. <laughs> The high for Tuesday is 48, and the low will be 34, and it's supposed to rain. The high for Wednesday is 49, and the low is 34, and it's supposed to be cloudy. The high for Thursday is 55, with a low of 41, and it should be raining. The high for next Friday is 43, and the low is 28. Next Saturday, the high is going to be 44, and the low will be 30, and there is a possibility of snow. Before we leave, there's one thing we have to ask of you guys. If you could disinvent one thing, meaning get rid of it entirely, what would it be? Check your school emails to s fill out the form to submit your answers. That's about all the time we have. Thanks for tuning in. I'm David. And I'm Gavin. You've been watching Pirates, Pirates News Network.